We're going to be making some paper logs for burning. Now you only need two ingredients, water and paper, but uh, we are going to add some sawdust this time and uh, that just makes it burn just a little bit longer. So first of all, we're just going to put some uh, paper in a container with water and uh, we're just going to let this soak overnight. To mix up the paper and pulp and the sawdust, I've put these two old lawnmower blades that I had together on this piece of threaded rod um, and then that will attach to my drill um, and then we'll use that to mix everything together. Yeah, it works really well. It works really well, yeah. yeah. So now that Jeff has blended up the uh, paper to a pulp, we're going to be adding some sawdust. So with the sawdust you want a ratio of 60 to 40, so that's 60 paper pulp and uh, 40 of the uh, sawdust. And you just blend that in as well. Now this has got the sawdust and the um, paper all blended together, it's about a 60-40 consistency. Still quite wet, which will press out shortly, but um, it's looking good. So here he's uh, filling up the container and he's got a piece of PVC pipe in the middle to make a hole. They tend to burn better, so now he'll just cover that up. These are a really good alternative to your wood logs and they burn just as well guys. Now this, uh, this briquette machine, you can get it online, it's still available. We found this one on uh, Marketplace for only $15. So it was really good. And uh, I get everyone to save me my junk mail. So uh, we have plenty of paper to make uh, briquettes or paper logs as they're also called. Now you just put the handles down and squeeze out the excess water. Got a couple of guys here doing this for me. I've seen also some people rig up a, um, their own machines and uh, they work really well as well. You can look out and look at some of the videos. YouTube. So you take off that first piece and uh, now we'll just lift the briquettes up. Okay, so he's got it out and we put it on a wire rack to dry out in the sun. So now he's just going to take that PVC pipe that was in the middle and there it's made a nice hole and they look like real bricks. Now if you can't find any of these machines, briquette machines, um, Jeff's going to show you an alternative way of making them and just using some milk cartons. Okay, here we're using some recycled um, milk cartons. We've poked holes in the sides all the way around. Hopefully you can see in there, and that's to let the excess water out when we put the paper pulp in. So we're gonna do that now. And here, just again, just squeezing out some of the excess water before it goes into the carton. We'll do several bits of this, and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. So once we get a fair bit into the carton, then I'm just going to push that all down with my hand. And that squeezing down is letting all the excess water out through those holes. So we'll just keep going like that until this is full. So here we've just about got this carton full. I don't fill it right to the top because I want to actually stick my hand 
in there and still push down and get out as much of the excess water as possible and then the carton's a bit pushed out on the side so I'll just bring that square up and then you end up with a, a brick in there like that so we're going to sit that there for a little while let it harden up a bit and then we'll just cut the um, old milk carton off and let it dry out it might take here the um, paper in the carton has been sitting here for a while so we're going to cut the carton open and then transfer it over onto a drying rack so I haven't tried this yet but we're going to see how it goes So now this is compressed, it's going to take a while to dry because it's winter at the moment but um, we'll let them sit there and dry out and they have a beautiful paper log brick ready for the fire. So here are some of the briquettes or paper logs and uh, they're drying out in the sun. These are the ones we just did a few minutes ago. And they're a really good heat source, guys. So give it a go. It's just uh, paper or your junk mail, water, and you can use the sawdust or leave it out. It's up to you. And uh, it's a good way of recycling uh, a lot of that uh, junk mail.